Whenever we need to begin a new project in Flash Professional, the most common way of doing so is to create a new document. This lesson will demonstrate the creation of a new document in Flash Professional CS6. So, the most common way to actually do this is to go to the welcome screen here when you first fire up Flash Professional and simply create a new document from this menu right here. And from here, of course, we can create a number of different types of documents. So we can create an ActionScript 3 document or an ActionScript 2 document. And these are the basics. So if you create ActionScript 3, it's going to be targeting Flash Player 9 and later. With ActionScript 2, you can target Flash Player 8 and previous versions. So you're probably going to want to use ActionScript 3, just because it's a much more powerful language than ActionScript 2 and there's actually a lot more that you can do with it. So when I first create this document, what it does is it names it as untitled-something. It's assigned the number 14 in this case. It also creates for us the stage, and the stage is automatically selected for us, so we can go right in and change any of these properties. So we can modify the publish settings, so say perhaps I actually don't need to target Flash Player 11.2. Maybe I just want to target Flash Player 10. So I can do that from here. Or if I make a change in my thoughts about which version of ActionScript to target, I can always change that as well to ActionScript 2 or even ActionScript 1. Note that when I change it to ActionScript 2, that we can still target Flash Player 10, 11, and so forth. That's because even the most recent versions of Flash Player are backward compatible with ActionScript 2 and ActionScript 1. But I'm going to choose ActionScript 3 for this. There are a number of properties that are exposed here for the stage, such as the frame rate here, so the frames per second. And right now, Flash Professional targets by default, 24 frames per second, which is pretty good. Older versions of Flash Professional would always target the frame rate at 12 frames per second, because that was sort of standard for animation. 24 frames per second is a lot closer to what you would see in film. We then have the width and height that we can modify, and also the stage color. So now that I have this document set up, I'm going to need to actually save it. So we can go to File, Save, and then we can rename this. So let's just rename this as Beginning Project, and hit Save. All right, so now our document has been created, and it's been saved, and it's ready for us to work. Note that you can also create new documents from the File menu. So we can choose File, New. And File New will bring up this new document window, where we can choose from a number of general document types. And these are actually the same document types that you would notice from the welcome screen. Except we actually have more control over what we want to set the stage up for. So we can see we can change the frame rate, background color, width and height, even before we create the document, which is pretty convenient. We can also choose this Templates tab. And from this Templates tab, we can choose from a number of different template categories. And these are sort of little quick starts and examples. They don't create blank documents for us. So this has been an example of how to create a new document in Flash Professional CS6.